Blog Talk Radio. I'm thinking to myself, all these problems I'm dealing with. Lord knows I ain't the only one feeling it. The world is going crazy, got me caught in the whirlwind. Like Hurricane Katrina coming back with a girlfriend. I'm standing on the block, Detroit doing the Earl Flynn. Prophecy coming true must be the end of the world then. It makes me want to pick up a Bible and start reading it. We already in hell, so Jesus, we needing it. Uh, like Master P. So pass the please, I spit the blast for me. For all the niggas on the block chasing after cheese. I'm first in line, you after me. I can't take it anymore. Seeing dope fiends relapse and shaking on the floor. And the panic starts to set in. Just like before, who gives a fuck if the planet's at war? It's the end of the world. What do you do when you're hungry and you gotta eat? And the only way you know to live is from the streets. Peace, the whole situation getting deep. I wouldn't go to sleep. When you're hungry and you gotta eat And the only way you know to live is from the street Peace, the whole situation getting deep I wouldn't go to sleep Cause it's the end of the, the, end of the world The sky is falling, I hear the gods calling We're supposed to be falling, the government's falling Presidents can't lead, we need to legalize weed I'm going off speed, pass me the rock seed My eyes so red, they, they look like they bleed We leave by greed so crazy, hoes blow me like a category 5 hurricane, they give good head but they ain't got no brains, Lift cocaine to ease pain, OD'd off a Thorazane, I'm still on my mind, man, it's the end of the line, the end of the road, I'm insane, shit, I can't take it anymore, seeing dope freeze relapsing and shaking on the floor, and the panic starts to set in, just like before, who gives a fuck, if the planet's at war, it's the end of the world, what do you do when you're hungry and you gotta eat? And the only way you know to live is from the street. Peace, the whole situation getting deep. I wouldn't go to sleep. This is the end of the world. What do you do when you're hungry and you gotta eat? And the only way you know to live is from the street. Peace, the whole situation getting deep. I wouldn't go to sleep. This is the end of the world. Oh, shit, the end of the yeah, the end of the world. And shit is that as crazy as And I'm about to flip right with it. I knew it was coming. Like a most psychic shit. Enough to suffocate ya Worldwide murder Courtesy of mother nature Nah, how you gon' stop this shit? I'm a demon who's a vision So apocalyptic The leader for the free world Hates black people Damn, only the devil is that evil Break your last day Don't come with a boom Nah, this is the end of the world Coming soon Oh shit, I can't take it anymore Seeing don't be relaxed And shaking on the floor And the panic starts to set in Just like before Who gives a fuck? If the planet's at war, it's the end of the world. What do you do when you're hungry and you gotta eat? And the only way you know to live is from the street. Peace, the whole situation getting deep. I wouldn't go to sleep. This is the end of the world. What do you do when you're hungry and you gotta eat? And the only way you know to live is from the street. Peace, the whole situation getting deep. I wouldn't go to sleep. Must be the end of the world, cause the wicked shit is back again. The sky is falling and the hemisphere is cracking in. I'm thinking tsunami to black origami. I'm praying for my mommy, don't suicide bomb me. Too much death and destruction all around me. And I'm still in Detroit, in the hoods where you find me. Quit adding to the problem and get a new solution. The people in New Orleans, I'm thinking revolution. I'm thinking better ways, better times, better days. Better get your tethers what some hustlers used to like to say. But we all better Pray, cause these motherfucking gas prices going up every day. Shit, I can't take it anymore. Seeing dope things, relapse and shaking on the floor. And the panic starts to set in, just like before. Who gives a fuck if the planet's at war? It's the end of the world. What do you do when you're hungry and you gotta eat? And the only way you know to live is from the street. Peace, the whole situation getting deep. I wouldn't go to sleep. This is the end of the world. What do you do when you're hungry and you gotta eat? And the only way you know to live is from the street. Peace, the whole situation getting deep. I wouldn't go to sleep. This is the end of the world. Breaking news, this just in. A purple Dodge Avenger just plummeted over the Belle Isle Bridge. 
We have two eyewitnesses on the scene. Yes, I was on my way from work. Yes, I work at Chrysler, the Chrysler plant on Jefferson. I seen this guy driving like 100 miles an hour. He swerved, and the car flipped. And when it flipped, he had a Nathan shirt. I don't know what it said. It said N-A-T-A-S on it. And somebody just informed me that it might be one of the legendary rappers from that legendary rap group from Detroit. I don't know which one it is, but he did go over the side of the Bell Alvarez. I saw it with my own two eyes. I see that. Thing too, man. Uh, the motherfucker came down here, excuse me, and he hit rail and flipped on four fuck times. He was screaming some shit about fuck everybody that's in the goddamn world. East side, bitch. Back to you, Lee Thomas. The fuck is up, people? This is the fucking hell of the world. My God, man, that was not this if you didn't know. Out of the world. Um, and the World EP CD thing. All this. Fuck. All right, a little story up before I let people on. I work at Kmart, right? Right, all right. Um, the guy that does everything in the back and everything pretty much, clean up shit, get carts, all that shit, right? I go into work at 7.30 till midnight. That's my shift. Go inside, and we are swamped, like back, like Black Friday swamped, right? And people are um, buying tents and shit. People are buying bulk water, like in bulk and shit like that. It's just crazy. It's just surreal. But let's go at Kelly on. Yo. Yo. What up? It's the end of the world. It is. It's the motherfucking end of the motherfucking world. Right. Here I am. How? I don't know. Huh? We're living in it. Right? Right? The world after the end of the world, motherfucker. Where do we go from here? Exactly. End of the world, motherfucking podcast, man. (laughs) Right? (laughs) All right, let's put a two, three, one on. Hello? Yo. Yo. What up, Duff? What up, Duff? What up? It's Jay here from Wicked Music Monthly. Right on. What's up, Jay? What's going on, yo? Chilling. Chilling. Out of the world. What do you think? Yeah, that's that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, that's it. I remember in... in, in I remember in 1999 when that Y2K shit was going on. That was about the time that www.com dropped, and there was everybody was on the end of the world shit then too, man. They had the uh, it was December, I think it was the 17th of 1999. It was right before the Y2K shit when they had that concert at Clutch Cargos, that Nada show, and that, that man, that shit was crazy. It was packed. There were people outside picketing and shit. It was fucking insane, man. Nice. Hell yeah. All right, let's put a six three one on. Yo, what's up? What up? Oh, what up? It's the end of the world. Hell yeah! (laughs) Why am I still alive then? What? I call bullshit on that. Right. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Mind calendar. People are the so Mayans superstitious. The Mayans did not know what the fuck they were doing. Right. Oh, there's they a didn't see the Spanish on. coming. 404, you're on. <laughs> Whoever the hell is 404, they're on. <sighs> End of the world. No, it's not the end of the world. I think it's just the beginning of the end, if anything, you know. Fucking, we got yeah. people can't start in, you know. Fucking. Yeah. The United States government's thinking about teaming up with Canada and Mexico and to make an Americano, kind of like a Euro type money system. You know, I heard something about that. When's that shit supposed to, like, go down? Are they actually going to do that? I don't know. But Probably. 
it would erase every single depth and we'll start over by from scratch, you know what I'm saying? Hello. Yeah. What up? Ah, <laughs> Hold on. What the hell is that? So I'm making a racket. Anyway, but like, they got FEMA camp set up in case if anybody like rebels against anything, you know what I'm saying? They can just send you to a transportation camp, which is ran by FEMA, so, yeah. Well, info wars shit right there. <laughs> You're like a human thesaurus. What's that? You know too many facts. Well, yeah, because like, that's what I do <laughs> when I don't sleep, bro. <laughs> I can just imagine you, you're like looking up shit, ooh, okay, okay, reading like 300 different things. Right. So, Jay, what do you think about the end of the world? Have you seen anybody freaking the hell out or like going ape shit or anything? Nah, not really this time. I mean, I just see the shit on Facebook, man. Fucking past few years, I've been a homebody, man. I try to stay away from all the chaos and shit unless I'm going out and having fun. I don't, you know, I just, I, I live my own little world over here and try not to pay attention to the rest of it unless I have to. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I feel you there. I haven't yeah, had you know, when you get older, five kids, years. Just, yeah, you know, when you, yeah, I, I've been through a fucking lot, and so, you know what I mean, I just got to a point where it's like, all right, now I just want to relax and <laughs> have, have fucking, you know, calm, peace. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I ended up in fucking Nevada. (laughs) Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Now, I think, like, nowadays, man, since, like, I'm older now, and you know what I mean, like, fucking real life's caught up with me and shit, it's like now I just live vicariously through the music, you know, and in the past and shit. Because, like, I grew up, like, in the 90s and shit with acid rap. And, like, back then I was actually doing all the shit and then some that they talked about the music, you know what I mean? So, like, I was all for it, you know. Plus, I was eating a lot of acid to go along with it. And <laughs> when you drop acid and listen to acid rap, you know, it just fucking grows on you, you know what I mean? So now, like, here I am. I'm, I'm an old man now with a family and shit. So now I listen to it just doing my job, you know, at home and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and just kind of look back on it. Yeah, you know. (laughs) I don't think (laughs) you can remember. I can't. You probably can't remember. Jay, I don't know if you heard the um, interview that we did with Doc Hollywood or not. Have you? Yeah, I did. Actually, I listened to it. That's what made me call tonight. I listened to it this morning. I saw something up about it, and I listened to it, and I was like, you know what? I might call in the next night just to kick it for a minute because it seems like a cool thing y'all are doing, like, it's like, I I like shit like this because it's not, gre- you know, you guys aren't trying to make nothing off nobody. You're just trying to set up a post for, like, fans of the good, real acid rap and good music to talk about, you know what I mean, and, and kick it and shit. And there's no, you know what I mean, there ain't no greed or no ulterior motives involved. You're just fans of the music, you know what I mean, and you're trying to support it, and that's real shit, you know what I mean, I respect that, and... I was like, I'm going to actually stay up tonight because I don't have shit to do tomorrow, you know what I mean? I don't got the kids till later. I'm like, I'll stay up tonight, have a few beers and call in and just kick it, you know? But uh, Hell yeah, that's, 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 the up, point, that's the point that Doug and I wanted to do with the, with, with the blog talk radio, you know? Have a community, yeah. make build a community because there's tons of people who are fans of acid raps like, or hardcore, whatever the fuck you want to call it, wicked shit, whatever, it's you know. underground in general. There needs to be, you know what yeah. I mean, like, somewhere out yeah. there to relay the fucking information, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. it ain't out That's there. That's to give out information, and if you are someone that knows some knowledge and you want to drop some knowledge, call in. Drop some knowledge on people, and then we'll put it out there so people can hear your voice, That's you know what I mean? That's <laughs> Yeah, and you know, there's no profit in this. We make no money doing this. Like, sure, we might have to pay money if we want to make a premium account to have a longer show. You know, what I mean? oh, yeah, of course. That's, 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 that's the key to any good. Too, though, so. that, yeah, 
and anybody will tell you that's the key to any good business, man, is you, you make your money, but you never you don't be greedy about it, man. You, you take what you need and not more than that because when you show people that, then they'll respect you more, and then you'll gain more, more to mouth and more, more to customers and people that will respect your business and want to support you because you're not being greedy about the shit. You know what I mean? You're doing it as a means, but not, not to flash and, and be flamboyant about the shit. You know what I mean? And that's why I don't like psychopathic records. You know, psychopathic records, man, they've left a bad taste in my mouth in the past 10 years or so. You know what I mean? With their, with their sales tactics and their gimmicks and shit, it's just gotten out of hand. It's like, man, I can't even... I, there's no way I can spend my money, you know what I mean, with, with with a smile on my face on, you know, one copy out of four copies, you know what I mean? You want me to get four different copies of the same album because each album has different bonus tracks on it or each album covers a different color or some shit, you know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. You know, exactly. we're, we're fans of good music here, you know what I mean? And that shit's just, that's like an insult to me, you know what I mean, like expecting me to buy four different copies of your album, unless I'm trying to collect, like with the Esham shit, I bought two copies of Venus Flytrap, because first of all, it's Esham, and fucking, I don't care what he drops, I'm buying it, you know what I mean, that's just, I'm a, I'm acid rap all day, I don't, ever since that's I first I am heard too, bro. Jay, that's and, all I am too, man, I bought two copies, one to keep sealed as a collector, and one yep, to bump yep. the fuck out, and if I kill yep. that CD that I bumped the fuck out of, I'll just go out and buy another one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. Right on, man. So the way I've done music. psychopathic personally, like, it's kind of a gift type of thing. It's something that's quick and easy for certain people, you know what I mean, who don't know what I'm into. So, like, for example, my mom was just here today. She fucking picked up a copy of a American Psycho's tour CD that she found at, you know, Amoeba Music in Los Angeles, you know. And that's, that's, that's kind of how it's become with psychopathic with me. I won't spend too much fucking money on them, you know, but I'll let other people spend the money on me <laughs> and buy yeah. me that shit, you know. Yeah, and I, that's what I'm I mean, I got nothing, like I said, man, I still, I, it, whether or not Twisted's left psychopathic, I don't know, but he, if they haven't or have, I still fuck with them. I don't like ICP anymore. I used to, man, but their last two albums to me, they're just garbage. Um. And everything before that I fucked with to an extent, but it's always been mainly Esham, not as mastermind with me all day, all the way through for like the past 15 plus years. That's been in my CD player nonstop. All RLP you, shit. Uh, what you think about mastermind even and shit. picking up with scum and fucking LSP? That's the thing, man. That's the thing about mastermind that actually, it's it's been irking me, man, because, you know, I really, with me, Mastermind, it's like I feel personally that he belongs with RLP. Now, he doesn't agree with me on that, obviously, you know what I mean? And he's got his own business reasons, as does Esham and everybody else, and that's fine. You know, I try to stay out of that type of shit, you know what I mean? But, I mean, I'm still going to state my opinion on shit when I see it, you know? I don't need to say names or nothing like that, but if I see an issue that bothers me, I'm going to speak on it, you know what I mean? That's just the type of dude I am. So. Yeah. He got he, he got salty with me because I was speaking on some shit, and he, he he thought it might be a conflict of business with some shit he was doing. So, you know, I, I bit my tongue for a minute, but, you know, I, I put a little post on my page tonight um, addressing the issue more in my in my personal way, you know, instead of uh, it being anything based around him or his career or, or affiliates. Um, it's just my feelings on the whole subject of horrorcore in general, man, and the way shit's going with the the talk about kitty fucking and kitty abuse and shit and, and music and how everybody just seems to kind of turn a blind eye to it and think that it's cool when, you know, there could be nothing further from cool than talking about or, or endorsing or encouraging people to fucking go out and, and molest fucking kids, you know what I mean? To me, that shit, and that ain't what RLP's about and ain't never been about, that ain't what the wicked shit was about when this shit got started. And I think it's just getting carried away, man, and people just need to step up and be like, dude, that shit's not cool. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah. I, I deal in feelings when like it comes that. to certain shit, and that's something that I, that I kind of take personally, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of been eating away at me lately. And I don't, like I said, I don't say no names or whatever, but, you know, that it, it's really been, uh, been kind of irking me, and I feel that, you know, and I'm not saying, you know, I ain't trying to censor nobody. I understand freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. All I'm trying to say is, man, why can't we kind of use our heads a little bit more when we use our freedom of speech, you know what I mean? And 
and uh, try not to say certain things just for shock value because it ain't going to do nothing but, but harm. It ain't going to help. You know what I mean? There ain't nothing no, about that, that. that shit that helps. Yeah. pretty sure I know who you're talking about at this point. You know, I mean, there's a couple of them, so that's why I ain't going to say no names to get specific. There's there's more than one. There's more than two. You know, I've, I've yeah. heard it several times from several different artists, and each time, man, all it does is just make me want to stand up, first of all, and break my fucking stereo into pieces, and then go find the motherfucker who was saying it, you know? I'm not saying I'm going to. I ain't threatening nobody. I'm just saying that's how it makes me feel, you know? And I don't like to be made to feel like that when I'm trying to enjoy music, you know? <laughs> that's... That's not what I listen to music for, you know. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, the like, down the street, the you know. I'm gonna trust you. It's like I'm gonna fucking bust, bust the kid's head open. Some shit like that. You're gonna be like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's the thing. I'm talking about. You know, talk, man, you know I, like I've said, there's just a level, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah levels of it. The and thing is with me with can, Mastermind is that I don't understand how he's with um, Scum and all them. Because Scum and all them, they sound like they try too hard to be horrorcore, if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Yeah, I got you. I got you however, that however there's, some, there's some other artists that's on, their, his, on Scum's record company, like Dark Half, who have really distinct lyrics, you know, that yeah. focuses on around certain certain subjects yeah. or whatever, certain topics, which I think is really good, but it's just Scum and a couple other artists on his label who I think are tryhards, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which I, I can't that's really not, dig. So that's just my opinion, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's why I found a group like, you know, his last album he just released was pretty fucking fresh, uh, Mr. Zipperface. And, like, I have a couple I other ones. I heard that one. The, the, the Asylum was pretty good, but that was all beginning stage shit. But, um, no, they also got fucking insane poetry over there, you know? Ever. Yeah, insane poetry's dope. I like insane poetry. Most yeah. of his shit. Yeah, man, cool I, like, fuck. I like some like, of his music. He fucking, like, personalized my fucking signature and shit whenever he sent me my CD and shit. Like, shout out to fucking insane poetry. That dude right there fucking throws down. He's cool as fuck with yeah. all his fans. That's no, what it's I about. Heard anything mm-hmm. bad about him? But yeah, as far as Mastermind goes and fucking R.L.P., you know. Did any of you guys? I don't know. They need to figure that shit out because I'd like to hear some fucking notice, and I don't feel that it's right without Mastermind. You know. Right on. <laughs> yeah. Right on. No, like, I agree, even if man. Not not as as fucking modest, you know what I mean? I'd have fucking some respect over right. that one. I mean, what I think of about all that is that, um, how my computer's freezing up. So, um, but yeah, what I think about with, like, not, with Nodis and all that, I think Mastermind's choruses, like, to their songs, is what makes Nodis Nodis more than anything. Because if you look at almost all of Nodis' like, discography collection, Majority of the songs, the chorus is done by not by, by all mastermind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that's the reason why so many people are fans of RLP and fans of not is they want mastermind back because, in a way, without him and his chorus making awesome chorus because his voice is perfect for it. You know. That's just my opinion, Probably. but I don't know if you guys feel the same way. But that's just how Definitely. I definitely. You know. Definitely. I mean, I don't know if any of you guys listen to, like, rock or, or heavy metal, but, like, you can equate it to Van Halen. Like, the Van Halen with without David Lee Roth is, like, not no without fucking, fucking Van Mastermind. Halen. That is no fucking Van Halen. Fuck Sammy I'm, Hagar. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Hagar. Oh, my God. Exactly. It's, it's, it's yeah, not the same, like, you, you cannot know? take Mastermind out of fucking Nottis and expect the shit to be, you know, the same. No. No, it's not. Nah. Yeah, it's never going to be the same. By the way, has anybody heard anything about TNT? Because I haven't heard nothing he, from him. He was supposed to show up. He was supposed to show up for part of the tour with Mastermind, um, and Bizarre. But I'm not sure if he ever did. I don't know if you guys read the interview I did with Mastermind a couple months ago. But I uh, haven't yet. No. Well, I'll have to put it back up in the archives because I I got another one up right now. But 
Yeah, I'll put that back up. Anyway, no, he was supposed. He said in his interview with us that he was good, that TNT might make a guest appearance on the tour, but I don't know if he ever did or not. And he also said something about TNT uh, putting together a mixtape right now. So I don't know oh, where okay. that's at. But because uh, I just haven't he heard a peep from him, you know what I mean? Like I, have, I know he's done a couple shows here and there, you know, but I just haven't yeah. heard like, is he making new shit or has he been on the download making new shit? Has he just been taking a break? You know what I'm saying? Well, I, 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 asked, Master, <laughs> I asked Mastermind straight up. I said, is he re- has he retired? You know, and uh, yeah. Mastermind said that he hasn't retired. That he's he's putting together a mixtape right now, and I think his words were. Uh, "Quote unquote, fucking, what was it? Oh, we all hope for, we're all looking forward for the Suicide Bomber to come back or some something to that effect. So, um, yeah, Matt TNT, I guess he's he's in the in the lurks right now, about to come back up with something. But uh, I don't know if he ever made it to the guest appearance for the tour or not. I, I didn't keep up after the one in Kalamazoo. I went to that one, which was yeah, last I month. Yeah, I that, dude, because I went to the Twisted show. And then I saw my homie Crack Rock. I don't know if you know who he is or not. No. Uh, he he performed or he opened up prior beforehand, before the Esham right. show. And he was oh, yeah, I was at that one, too. Show. I'm talking about the Mastermind show. See, I, I was at the oh, Esham oh, show see, on Devil's Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was at the Esham show, about. too. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. But, no, the, the Mastermind show was a couple weeks ago at the same spot where the Esham show was, and it was supposed to be Schizo and Mastermind. And honestly, that's the only people we went out to support, you know what I mean? Because it was, you know, a bizarre show and whatever, you know, all props to him and what he does. But I don't, I'm not a fan. So I was, I went to support Mastermind and see his show and Schizo. And uh, yeah. they ended up getting one song into the set and the sound system went bonkers. And Mastermind's oh. running, Mastermind's oh, running around God. grabbing a fucking laptop. Running through, running back to the parking lot to get his laptop, running inside, hooking it up with the headphones, trying to help the fucking sound guy get everything right. They get back on stage to do another song. They did Worship the Wicked, and Ma- and I'm the mastermind off off a uh, uh, fucking intoxication or intoxication. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, they did those two songs, and the sound went out again. And fucking, they were like, yeah, well, we got to take off and get off the stage so Bizarre can do his set. So we're sorry, you oh, guys, that's but that's going to be it. Dude, it was the lamest shit I ever, dude, I was so mad, dude. I walked out of there, I was like, are you fucking serious, man? You know what I mean? I just bought a brand new Nada shirt and shit. I'm out in the crowd, you know, fucking getting hype and, and that shit happens. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wouldn't want to get stuck with Chess Bizarre. <laughs> no, hell me no. Me either, you know. So and then I heard I didn't I didn't stay around to see what happened but I guess I saw on Facebook the next day like the promoters put up there that like Bizarre got on stage and acted like an asshole so I guess he pissed a bunch of people off too so it was just a shit night period <laughs> but uh no I ended up fucking, every, every I ended up talking while, dude. sorry go ahead no it's all right I was just gonna say I ended up talking to Mastermind and Schizo though man and they were over there you know chopping it up with the fans and shit before they got on stage and everything fucking fell oh, apart, cool. but, yeah. Well, I was going to say, like, every so often, an artist has a shitty show, you know, where you can't oh, really yeah. control it, like, like that, you know, like, sounds like some breaking and shit. You it know? happens, No, it, it happens. It, it just happens, happens, you know. Yeah, you it just, just sucks, happens, you know, you're and fucked. You got to expect people to be bummed out about it and, you know, bitch about it, you know what I mean? Because, like, you know, fans pay their money to go see that shit, and they, you know, then all the other fans out there, such as myself, who even go the extra mile and, and promote it, you know, and, and try to, like, get people to go and, you know, bring people with you just to, and then that type of shit happens and, you and you know, you don't even get any type of like, hey, man, you know, we got you on free tickets to the next show or none of that shit, you know what I mean? That That's supposed to be a given. If you fuck up a show, who, yeah. I don't know if it was, if it was them you, or you the promoters, who, I don't care who it was, you know what I mean? It's, I'm not trying to point fingers. I'm just saying if, if a show gets fucked up, fans should be reimbursed to some extent in one way, shape, or fashion. You know, it's yeah, only right. a free shirt or something, you know, like a free shirt. A free something. CD something. 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 Yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. right. It is what it is, you know. I... All right, we're about to get uh, cut off the air, so right before we get cut off the air and go into the after party, I just want to shout out that um, fucking political assassin will be calling in tomorrow for the fucking end of the world post show. So, we got that going on tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Hell yeah. 
yeah. I'm not. I'm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get excited. I'm like so. Like I'm downing out. I'm like. I'm downing. I'm like yay. End of the fucking world. Like what else can you say? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once if we die today, it's like, yay. Fuck it. Yeah. But next, okay, I barely ever quote ICP, but their song, It's All Over, they have a quote that says, next, the best thing from seeing the world begin is seeing the end. You know, and that's true. Yeah. Seeing Still the world end is the next best thing than seeing it begin, you know. But seeing the world begin, that would be fucking ridiculous, you know. That would be awesome. Yeah, God was like, yeah, I'll put some trees right here. I'll, yeah, I'll put, put some people trees. right there. I'll put, I'll put some fruit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why don't we make a couple people? Why don't we give them some animals to kill? Bam, bam. <laughs> we'll give them some animals to kill. And we'll shake things up by putting some suicide bombers, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to um, leave these people here and let them, you know, work everything out for themselves. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. But don't eat Let's this apple. Don't eat, off off don't eat anything off this tree. Don't eat anything off this tree. Yeah. You can do whatever you want, but don't eat off that tree. Oh, by the way, I'll put a snake that will provoke them. <laughs> I'll put a snake there that will provoke them. <laughs> and talk to them. <laughs> What? Snakes can't be... talk? They can now, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, Jay, that, this is what, basically what we want to do, you know? We want to get, like, a bunch of suicidalists, underground music fans, etc., whatever you want to call it yourself, you know? We want to get a bunch of people on here. And just talk about real life shit, you know, like shit that's going on in news or like that shooting. We talked about that on our first ever show, you know. Oh, no, no, first ever show we talked about fucking um, Twisted leaving Psychopathic. And yeah, some that was on a different, that was on a different channel. Yeah. That was on a different channel, so, and that one got deleted due to some beef that we got going on but with somebody, but that's all right, you know. But our first ever show on this channel, we talked about that, about that um, Sandy Hook shooting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, that that was a bummer. <laughs> it was. It, it sucks, you know. And we talked about it. We discussed it, you know, and shit like that. I mean, that's what that's what Doug, aka Kyle Green, on here, you know, and I. We, that's what we want to make, you know. We want to make form a community, you know. I mean, sure, well, we might what, not live in the same area, but we can all relate some way or some form, and also well, have like up, a debate, you know? and have like debate about topics or about music or whatever, but yet still be chill with one another. You know? Yep. Yeah. Well, you know that's that's what I've always loved about RLP more than like you know I and I like a lot of underground rap and hip hop, and I listen to other wicked shit. I'm selective about it though. Um, but with RLP and the reason it's always been number one to me and I've always listened to it more faithfully than anything else is because it, you know, it, it, it talks, it talks to the dark and wicked side of you, but it also fucking talks to the good side of you, you know what I mean? And it, and there's a balance there, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, everybody's evil, everybody's dark and to live is evil to, to, to die. To e- live, to evil to live, to, ah, to live is evil, to evil to live, you learn that. Um, yeah, you know you what I'm trying to say, man. I've had a few beers right? once in a while. I'm getting tongue twisted anyway. Fucking uh, what I'm trying to say is, I guess real life. You know what I mean? It's all about real life shit. You know what I mean? And that's why I can always relate to that more than anything else because it's about real life shit. Even even the good shit. You know what I mean? That not everything's got to be bad and wicked and dark and twisted and shit. You know what I mean? It's always a little bit of good with the evil, you know what I mean? So you've got to always recognize that shit as well. Exactly. Like, with the RLP artists in general, like Doc Hollywood, like, he talks about living out in the streets, and I'm sure there's tons of motherfuckers that can relate to that. I mean, look at the past rappers oh, yeah. that rap like that, like Tupac, Biggie, I love how big they blew up to be. They were well, not talking only about real life. Shit. 
Detroit you know. just so happens to be one of those places right now where they got something like that going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in this generation, there's Detroit. And they are all out there fucking on those blocks, like hustling these fucking CDs and shit. And RLP just so happens to be one of those big names out there that fucking been doing it the longest, you know? Yeah. Exactly. And, like, there's, yeah, well, Doc was... Hollywood that, there's Doc Hollywood that does that shit. And then there's Daniel Jordan, you know? He doesn't yeah. come from No, I know he's Daniel straight, Jordan. You know? Yeah, and then there's him, you know? He talks about, like, being depressed and shit like that, you know? And the mood swings that you go through while being depressed or fucked up on drugs and your true feelings and shit, which I can relate the most to him, but that's because I have anxiety disorder, you know? Me too. So, <laughs> that's, I love so Daniel I, Jordan's music. I just I'm got into him over the past year, man, but everything I've heard from him so far, like minus one track, I think, is, is everything I've heard from him has been dope, so. Yeah, and, and then, like and I got into Daniel Jordan because of Lucas because I won his contest or Guido. Um, his contest, and once he sent it, I, I listened to it, and I automatically, once I finished the CD, I called Guido back, and I'm like, is this guy alive? Is this guy alive? <laughs> is this guy alive? <laughs> Seriously, is he alive? <laughs> no, yeah, like, and, I then, and then you got, and then you got fucking Esham, you know, he talks about the streets, like, the song, uh, the album, Kill the Fetus, the song, Kill the Fetus. Do you want to have yep. a kid, or raise a kid in, a, in the middle of fucking hell, or do you want to save that child that suffer by killing it off now? And that's just one song. That's what I take from that one song, you know what I mean? And he has countless yeah. songs that are, that are somewhat like that, but with a different topic, you know? And then he has just some straight-up crazy wicked shit, you know? That's why, like, that's why, like, Ishan, because the shit that I don't even, there's certain songs where I don't even agree with what he's saying, but I know why he's saying it, and I can respect why he's saying it, and the way he's saying it, because he's a poet with his shit, he's a fucking true lyricist, and that's a rare, oh, yeah. you know what I mean, there's very few true lyricists out there who've been doing it as long as him, and keep getting better each fucking album, you know what I mean, and there's a lot of people who don't agree with me, and think that he's not getting better with each album, but man, if you if you're not looking at it in terms of creativity and artistry and fucking music in general and not just wicked shit, you'll see that he's he's actually grown as an artist, man. It's it's oh yeah, it's, it's amazing. His whole catalog of of albums, you know, from Boomin to Venus Flytrap, has been it's a legacy. If you listen to him it's like all the time, like I do, you know what I mean. It's like a fucking legacy. It's like reading a chapters in a book. You know what I mean. And to think, he started whenever he was fucking 13. Exactly. And that's exactly. what mind blows me more than anything, dude. Like, Hell yeah, dude. mine too. Like, he fucking started exactly. when he was 13 making booming words, you know what I'm saying? And then he went off on tour, and, you know, at 13 dude's years phenomenal. old. Dude's phenomenal. It's like, it's, it's like he, he's like either God said, you know, that's why I think, and a lot of people that are like juggles and shit, mainly give me shit, I'm like, dude, take away that clown dick out of your ass for, like, two (laughs) seconds. Exactly. And listen to this guy's lyrics and study it for, like, 15 minutes. I don't know, man. He he dissed ICP. I don't know about that. (laughs) There would be no 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 ICP without Ishan. There would be no wicked shit. Oh, yeah. There would be no exactly, horror, horror. There would be none of that shit. Nobody was doing this shit in 1989 except for fucking Esham. All right? He was the one. He wasn't the one who created the concept of being wicked. You know what I mean? But he's the one who fucking did the wicked shit exclusively first. He's the only rapper yeah, who has exclusively did nothing but wicked, wicked shit. Music. He was the first name to put the name wicked to music in that type yep. of sense. He cornered the market. And then fucking you got ICT and Eminem. And fucking twisted, and and all everybody else just basically took what he created and and ran with it and got famous and rich off the shit, and now everybody wonders why he's bitter. And it's like, dude, man, he's the guy has been fucking slept on for twenty three years, and he's been like one of the most influential <laughs> artists <laughs> of our generation. Him. Eminem shouts him out from the very fucking beginning, very first, exactly. and he still he shouts him out, great. but he doesn't he, like he doesn't say anything, you know. He doesn't promote him. He doesn't do anything because he no. knows if he promotes him, then Ishan would blow the fuck out out of nowhere, and yeah. then Eminem would be just behind a shadow. You fucking Ishan, 
was on the fucking Carnival of Carnage, and then, like, they went years, you know what I mean, without anyone knowing who the fuck Esham was still, Juggalos even, you know? Like, oh, who the fuck Esham? I don't know. He's on that one song on Carnival of Carnage, right? You know? Well, that's the and problem. That you know, that's the problem is that nobody knows. It's, 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 you mean, more people should know who the fuck Esham is, you know, if you... If, if you're fans of this genre of music, you have to fucking be a fan of Ishan. That should be a fucking requirement since he's the one who created this for us to listen to in the first place. He's the creator of this. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. if you're going to listen to ICP and Twisted and all that shit, it's like, dude, they got all their methods from RLP. Everything Psychopathics did or is doing, they got that from RLP. James Smith and Ishan created that whole formula and that whole business for them to fucking bite and run with. It's it's a known fact. You know, anybody who even grew up within 100 miles of Detroit, you don't even have to be from the D, in fact, to know that. It's common True knowledge story, in Jay. metro Detroit. Yeah. I'm from True fucking story, Evansville, fucking Indiana is where I was born. Evansville, Indiana, and fucking all that shit got there, leaked to a fucking store that we had called Coconut. That's where all that fucking shit was. ICP back in the fucking day. You know what I mean? But that's the Midwest. It is what yeah, that's it is. when I you started bumping know. ICP was back in, like, 93 when I first started bumping ICP with that Beverly Kills was the first one I heard. Jay, one of your two stories back in 1999, back in 1999, whenever I first ever got into, like, Eminem, I was just getting to Eminem, right? And I saw an yeah. interview where he talked about eShop. I went downtown to see a punk rock show, right? And, yep, when I was really young, I went to see a punk rock show with my cousin. I found eShop. CD, Judgment Day, Volume 1. Flat. The CD, or, or not the CD, the cassette tape, I meant. It's like a cassette tape. Buy the gutter. It was all dinged up and scratched up. You can barely see the words on it and shit. Brought it home, I'm and just, And I'm just like, what the fuck is this shit? My God! <laughs> <laughs> and You're and freaking I'm out. Like, and like, oh my God, what the fuck is this? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and, and so and so I put two and two get together. He kept on referencing his name or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they said, "I'm Sean the Unholy," and I'm blah, 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 you know. And I'm like, yeah. "Wait, this is what Eminem's talking about? This is the motherfucker you're talking about? Holy fuck!" <laughs> so I listened to that cassette tape until the tape on it burnt. Like you can't you can't play it no more. It's just like a blank tape. And it's upstairs in my room, all scratched up and shit, but it's still there, you know? And Hell yeah. That was the shit. That's what got me into the Wicked shit. It was first, it was technically it was through Eminem, but Eminem got me into Esham, and I've been in with Esham ever since. And then in around 2000, 2002, 2003, um, that's whenever I got into Juggalo shit, you know? And here I am now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here I am now? Hell yeah. Right oh yeah, Eminem got me into the Wicked shit too. It was this, it was through Eminem. <laughs> My first album yeah. from him was Marshall Mathers LP, <laughs> and then I looked up a looked up um a song or whatever, and I found ICP up. I'm like, who the fuck is ICP? I typed in their name and ch- Chicken Hunting popped up. I'm like, okay, I clicked on it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Still, I'm 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 like and I'm like. Like five or six at the time, I'm like, what? Bill and the what? And blood all over the sh- that all his necks all over the shed. What? Damn, this is violent as hell. It's and, I'm, and I started doing more research and I found more and more songs. And then Bizarre came out, and then all the other shit. And I picked um, Bizarre Bizarre up, and then my my I had to hide it under my bed because my mom back then was all like, don't listen to that music. And and then when later on I got the race and the race was like like what got me into it and then when House Pit dropped I'm like oh, I yes <laughs> this is what I like. Nah, me and House Pit. I me and House Pit. Yeah. Go ahead. Nah, fucking first time I saw them was fucking April ninth, nineteen ninety eight. Fucking long ass time ago and they were fucking violent as fuck you know what I mean like the show was just off the fucking hook I was young as fuck I was like I think 
in the third fucking grade or something, my mom took me with her boyfriend who was a fucking, you know what I mean? He was a fucking juggalo. And that was the fucking first time I ever saw him fucking blew my fucking wig off just completely. Okay, so we're at the 45-minute mark. We're about to get cut off soon. So uh, everybody want to say goodbye? All right, you guys.